Hello, I pray everybody's having a blessed evening this evening. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know it's early in the morning, actually, over here. I don't know what time it is in different places, but whatever part of the world you're on, I pray that you're having a blessed evening, morning, or afternoon, or whatever time it may be. But um, I wanted to give this message that God put so strongly on my heart. He woke me up out of my sleep um, a few minutes ago just to give this message because it's so important. I, it's just, oh my gosh, I pray that that everybody has ears to hear and a heart to receive this word hallelujah and know that it's straight from the mouth of god <laughs> because it is it's a word from the lord hallelujah praise you jesus but the word is um stop it <laughs> god says stop it you know those that are listen that are looking to natural means to keep them safe like all these people that you know that and all i know all these states have made it mandatory for people to wear masks and whatever and stuff of course it's going to get worse it's going to get to where they want to have masks and shields because so many people are testing positive and they're thinking that the mask ain't going to keep them safe so they're going to go up a higher notch again and make people wear shields and it's going to be something else and something else it's going to get, going to get into higher levels and more things that they're going to make people do and they're going to make it mandatory for them to do and they're just starting out now with the mask but once they see that's going to fail they're going to look to other natural means. But God's saying, stop it. You know, stop looking to the natural means for your protection and for your healing and for your deliverance and for all that you need and look to him. Because he is all the protection from anything that you need. Anything and everything. God is the only one that you need. You know, and like I said in the previous video, it, it, it's time to, to break the cycle. You know, and this is how we're going to do it. This is how the people of God are going to break the cycle. We're going to stop looking at the natural means for protection and look to God and look to Jesus, you know, and show the world who to look to because, you know, they're looking to us to show them, you know, they're looking to us to be the example. They're looking to us to, you know, to kind of guide them in the right direction and then to show them that they don't need natural means to keep them safe. They need God. And he's saying, stop it. You know, stop looking to natural means and look to him. He's all the protection you need from anything and everything, you know, and he's, he's all you need. I mean, God is all we need. We do not need any natural means for anything. You know, all we need is Jesus. And that's what he's saying through this. You know, that's one thing he's saying through this pandemic, you know, not just, you know, that's not the only thing he's saying. He's saying a lot of things. He's speaking a lot of things to his people through this. But the main thing he's speaking to them is to stop it. You know, stop looking at the natural means. Stop thinking that masks are going to keep you safe. Stop thinking that shields are going to keep you safe. Stop thinking that suits are going to keep you safe. I mean, look to Jesus. All those people that, and this is for all those people that, you know, all the, and this is for everybody, really. But specifically for the, the people that, that are looking to, you know, natural means for protection. Just, just stop it. That's what God's saying. Stop it. He kept speaking that to me before I even did this video. He kept saying, stop it. Stop it. And, you know, and I knew what he was saying. He was saying, stop looking at the natural means for protection. Because my husband was saying that somebody, his job, you know, tested positive for it. And then I, I seen on the internet that Jimmy Johnson, the NASCAR driver, tested positive too. And God's saying, and I said, Lord, what are you saying through this? Speak to your people, you know, speak to them. <laughs> Let them have ears to hear and a heart to receive what you're saying to them. Speak to them, Lord. And he did. He said, stop it. He says, tell them to stop it. Just stop it. Stop looking the natural means to protect you. You know, stop stop doing that. Stop thinking that, that masks are going to keep you safe. And shields are going to keep you safe. And suits are going to keep you safe. Look to him because he's the only one you need to keep you safe. God is the only one that you need. He's all you need. He's your all in all. And he wants your, your faith and your trust and your reliance to be completely and totally on him. Not on, you know, natural things. Natural means. And that's one main thing that he's speaking through this pandemic to people. You know, was to stop it. Stop looking at the natural means. You know, stop thinking that all this these natural things like masks and, and shields and suits and all this other stuff is going to keep you safe. He's the only one that's going to be able to keep you safe from anything and everything. You know, God is all we need. He's all the protection that we need. So anyway, um, I pray that that this message, you know, all that listen to this message in its entirety will will hear what God's saying and know that it's from the Lord and know that that He loves you and He cares for you, and He wants to to be your everything, not just some things. He wants to be your everything, your protector, your healer, your deliverer, everything, because that's what He is. He is your everything. And I pray that all who watch this message, um, and listen to it. 
and have ears to hear and a heart to receive it and know that it's from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. But anyway, on that note, I will leave my my um, link to my GoFundMe for those who want to donate and to my ministry and all what God's doing. I'll leave that link in the description box below this video along with my email. For those who have prayer requests, feel free to send me your prayer requests because I do check my emails all the time and I will respond to you. Keep you uplifted in prayer as I always do. And I pray that y'all have a blessed uh, day, evening, or morning, whatever time it may be where you're at. Hallelujah. And until next time, I'll see you then. Be blessed.